Hello and welcome to The Old Flyers. In a recent video, I told how Russia developed the Sukhoi Su-57 Philon and from that design in 2021 was spawned the Su-75 Checkmate, a lighter, single-engine, fifth-generation fighter. These programs come at a huge cost to Russia's economy. In world rankings, Russia's economy is about the size of the American state of Texas. Let's do some comparisons. Russia's population, 140 million. Texas, 30 million. Russia's nominal GDP in 2023 was 2 trillion US dollars. Texas, 2.4 trillion. Russia is the world's 11th largest economy. Texas, the eighth, larger than Brazil, Canada, and Italy. Texas has a diversified economy, home to NASA's Johnson Space Center, Lockheed Martin, and Bell Helicopter. Texas ranks third in the world for oil production, but it is not a significant part of the Texan economy, whereas Russia's revenues mostly derive from oil and gas. Historically, Russia was a major exporter, but its trade has been fundamentally reshaped by sanctions following the 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Texas has been the largest exporting state in the US for 21 consecutive years. In summary, Russia has vast natural resource reserves, energy, minerals, timber, educated and relatively low cost workforce in technical fields, self-sufficient in food and energy, and with a large domestic market. Russia's weaknesses are an overwhelming dependence on commodity exports, brain drain and demographic decline, crippling international sanctions and economic isolation, pervasive corruption and weak rule of law, undeveloped financial and service sectors. Texas strengths and weaknesses are, it has a large, diversified and innovative economy, business friendly regulatory and tax environment, no state income tax, for instance, highly skilled workforce attracted from across the US and the world, part of the stable and massive US market and financial system. It has world-class infrastructure, ports and highways, airports. Its weaknesses are that it is vulnerable to fluctuations in oil and gas prices with strains on physical infrastructure, such as grid and water, from rapid growth. Knowing all of this about Russia, isn't it remarkable that it can devote so much into aircraft development, such as the Sukhoi 75 project? Designers Alexei Bulatov and Mikhail Strelitz of the Sukhoi Design Bureau were tasked with producing a light fifth generation stealth fighter for the export market to compete with the Swedish Jazz 39 EF Gripen, Lockheed Martin F-35, Turkish TAI TF, Karen and Chinese Xianyang J-35. The Sukhoi 57 Philon, Russia's premier fifth generation fighter, is a national treasure too sensitive and expensive for widespread export. Meanwhile, the American F-35 was swarming the global market, signing up allies from Europe to the Middle East to Asia. Russia's aerospace export king, the Su-35, was a brilliant fourth generation jet, but it was not stealthy. Low cost was the mantra. The F-35, for all its budget overruns, was marketed as an affordable multi-role stealth fighter. Sukhoi needed a product that could undercut it, a fighter that was cheaper to build, buy and operate than the Sukhoi 57, but still packed a fifth generation punch. The Russian military itself needed a more numerous complementary aircraft to the Sukhoi 57, a loyal wingman in spirit, but a fully capable independent hunter, something that could handle the bulk of air superiority and strike missions, freeing up the more complex Sukhoi 57s for the highest threat missions. The project, internally designated is Del I-75, Product 75, was born from this necessity. The development was a masterclass in pragmatic engineering. 
they wouldn't start from scratch. The Checkmate would use the proven AL41F1 engine from the Sukhoi 35S, derated for longer life and lower cost. Systems from the Sukhoi 57, avionics, radar and weaponry were adapted and simplified. This saved billions in R&D and years in development time. The design was a single engine delta wing canard configuration. Its most striking feature was its massive unified internal weapons bay capable of carrying a wider variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles than many of its competitors. Stealth was engineered into its very form with clean lines, saw-toothed edges and S-shaped air intakes to shield the engine fan from radar. Its advanced sensor suite and data fusion capabilities would allow it to detect an enemy like an F-35 first, fire a long-range missile from its internal bay and disengage before the enemy even knew it was there. The first prototype was built in a record-breaking time frame, a testament to the reuse of existing technology. The unveiling of a static, non-flying prototype was revealed at the 2021 MAX International Aviation and Space Salon. The next day, under the bright Zhukovsky sun, the world watched as Russian President Vladimir Putin stood before the crowd. With a theatrical flourish, the shroud was removed. There it was, the Su-75 Checkmate. It was smaller, leaner and more aggressive looking than the Sukhoi 57. It looked fast even standing still. The Sukhoi 57 weighs in at a hefty 35,000 kilos. The Sukhoi 75, nine tons lighter at 26,000 kilos. This light tactical aircraft could fly at Mark 1.8 with a range of 2,900 kilometers. Service ceiling is 54,100 feet. Wing hard points and internal weapons bays for offense and capable avionics complete the package. The Checkmate's first flight, initially projected for 2023, was delayed. Rumours swirled of issues with the new avionics integration and the performance of the derated engine. The international market, once abuzz with interest from potential buyers in the Middle East, Asia and Latin America, grew cautious, watching to see if Russia could deliver on its promises. Yet, the Sukhoi team pressed on. The story of the Su-75 Checkmate is a story of a nation's ambition to redefine its place in the world of military aerospace. It is a tale of brilliant engineering, pragmatism, clashing with harsh economic and political realities. It is a gambit that is still being played out. As in the game of chess, the first move is only the beginning. The true test is in the end game. This is not just another aircraft of the fifth generation. This is the checkmate. Turn the board over. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please support our channel for more content.